Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today it's Stamp On The Go. Very simple with the stamp set, awesomely artistic. I should show you what the stamp set looks like. Um, it's this lovely set here. Yes, I do have a class in the mail with this set. I just absolutely love this dragonfly. So very simple card today. It's on note card. I don't know how much you can see. I think you can see very good here. We get a border around our layer. It's white on white and it is the um, note card size. The note card size, when they're cl close, they're three and a half by five. Well, this one, I took exactly an inch off for my um, mat, my layer, I should say. So it is a two and a half by um, four. And for some reason, I didn't like the look of this one. It was something missing. So this one, I decided to do the front and the bottom and short up my uh, frame or my layer. So this is two and a half by um, th three and a half. Two and a half by three and a half. Measure twice, cut once. Yes, so two and a half, th uh, two and a half by three and a half. So I took half of an inch. So really, it's not the same proportion all around. So it's shorter here than on each side. But I think it looked great. So I got my piece of cardstock here, and we're going to use the Simply Score. On the Simply Score, we're gonna two and a half, three and a half. Yeah. This is just plain wax paper. And what I do with my wax paper, I um, rub that on my cardstock. Why do I do that? It makes my stylus flow easier. I'm going to use the bigger tip. You see we get two tip at the um, um, stylus and I'm using the bigger tip. We're going to go at, and I'm pressing kind of hard. A quarter inch all around so you're going to do all around one quarter of an inch and it's like super super smooth with the wax paper yes it does make a very different and the wax paper you can use it over and over so now we um, score on this side we're going to turn it around where it's raised up to stamp so I got my butterfly, the ink that we're going to use, we're going to use Lost Lagoon, Pool Party, and Sarah Sand. We're going to do the dragonfly with our pool party. I'm going to put that right here. We're going to use the little dots for the Sarah Sand. And really this I stamp off. What I mean by stamp off, you ink. I want a scrap paper here. Keep my mat clean. Here we go. Okay, you, you ink, stamp off, come on your paper. Ink, stamp off, and I can even go twice low. So I want it a little bit lighter than it was. So now this is done. See how simple that was? Now we're going to take our note card that it's already pre-score for you. Let's fold this in half. Take my bone folder and reinforce this. We're going to take a dimensional, put in the back of our stamp image there. Put this one there. I'm at the edge there. I use everything on my uh, dimensional. The edge are perfect for this. Now let's remove this little backer here. I'm going to put... I put it a little bit higher, so in the bottom I put the friend, so it balances everything. Now I'm going to use the Lost Lagoon. I'm going to use the friend, and all the stem that I'm using, it's all from this set, the are um, awesomely artistic. Et voilà, my friend, this is it. How simple that can be. I think it's a very simple card, but perfect for a little note card. You can even put happy birthday in the bottom. You can put anything. So this is it for my Stamp on the Go. And to see more Stamp on the Go, just visit my blog at frenchystamps.com or YouTube. And if you like this, um, this series, just give me a thumbs up so I know to keep on going. 
Thank you so much and have a great day, my friend. Again, my website, it's FrenchyStamps.com.